In this morning's Market Watch, rising prices, it seems the cost of just about everything is going up, and that has a lot of consumers worried, especially as they head to the grocery store or the mall. So what's behind it, and more importantly, what can we do about it? Well, joining us once again is CBS News Business and Consumer Correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis. Rebecca, hey, good Chris. to see you again. So we're going to talk about a couple of things here, why the prices are going up, and what the people at home can, of course, do to save a few dollars. And let's start with ground beef, because mm -hmm. they're actually raising the price on ground beef at the grocery store. Yeah, and you're really seeing it go up as a result of the fact that companies are paying much more for the input. The, the cattle input on these commodities has been going up since the summer, and finally you're seeing it pass along to the consumer. You'd pay for ground beef about $9.30 yep. $9 for a pound. You're going to see that go up about 6.2% this year. The way that you can save on it if you go and shop at the grocery store is to shop early, because sometimes when it's closer to its expiration date, you can get a better deal on it. You shop earlier in the day, you get the fresher meat, and you get a better deal on it. Also, buy in bulk and yeah. put it in the freezer. You can put it there for four months. It'll save. <laughs> yeah, buy a big bulk of, of ground meat there. Um, some appliance companies like Whirlpool, it's a, a, a giant when it comes to refrigerators, washing machines, and things like that. Uh, the prices of steel and aluminum going up in April right now. So they're going to start raising their prices on washing machines. Yeah, well, and the primary inputs into washing machines, steel and aluminum, are the commodity costs that are rising. You see, for an average, a washing machine will run you about $400. Yeah. That price is set to rise about 10 percent this year to four dollars for uh, four hundred forty dollars rather and what you can do is shop in September and October when they clear out the floors because they put the new models in you get a much better deal on the sale models all right so save uh, your 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 uh, washing machine shopping until the fall. That's the best tip you have. For yeah. Right. Okay. Um, cotton right now at a 15-year high. Just in the last year alone, it was at 55 cents a pound. Now it's over almost $1.90 a pound. Yeah, it's a huge increase over the last year, and you are finally seeing it in the cost of clothing. For example, we spoke with Hanes, and a pack of three T-shirts there is going to run you about $17, depending on where you're shopping mm -hmm. in the country right now. We could see that rise this year by even more than 10%. Hanes right now is saying they're looking at the cost of cotton going forward. If it's stays stable, maybe you'll see a 10% increase in the cost. But if it doesn't stay stable and say it goes up more, you could see an even larger increase. So what would you recommend? The recommendation is to shop now for back to school because yeah. that increase could be coming in the back to school season time. If you buy now, you're going to get a better deal on it. But make sure if you're shopping for your kids, buy, mul buy in multiple sizes. Okay. Becky Jarvis, Thanks, thank you Chris. very much.